Hello, in this video we're going to look at the Cobb-Douglas production function and we're going to derive an expression where marginal product is going to be a function of the average product. So consider this Cobb-Douglas production function. We want to derive an expression that shows marginal product of labor as a function of the average product of labor. Let's first solve for the average product of labor which is just output per worker. So we're going to take the production function Q and divide it by L, number of workers. So making your substitution in for Q here in the numerator and then dividing everything through by L. We can move this L to the numerator and so in the numerator we'll be left with L raised to the A minus one power all multiplied by K raised to the power of B. Next let's get the marginal product of labor. So taking the partial derivative of this production function with respect to L, labor, I'm going to bring down the exponent on the L term in front, then subtract 1 from that exponent on the L term, and we're left with this result. You'll notice that this L raised to the A minus 1, all multiplied by K raised to the power of B, is just the average product of labor. So I'm going to make a substitution here. This part of the marginal product of labor just equals the average product of labor. So therefore, we do have an expression showing that the marginal product of labor is a function of the average product of labor. We can do a similar thing for the marginal product of capital. The marginal product of capital will can simplify down to the following. The exponent on the k term here in the production function all multiplied by the average product of capital, q divided by k. Let's do some more examples. Given this uh, Cobb-Douglas production function, let's get the average product of labor. So taking Q here and dividing it through by L simplifies down to the following. Solving for the marginal product of labor, this exponent comes down in front, so 1 half times 10 is 5. And then you'll notice that the marginal product of labor is nothing more than 1 half multiplied by the average product of labor where this one-half is the exponent on the L term. Marginal product to capital, similar here. The exponent on the K term multiplied by the average product to capital equals a marginal product to capital. A few other examples. Given this Cobb-Douglas production function, the marginal product to labor can be written as follows. Marginal product to capital. Here's a, another Cobb-Douglas production function. Marginal product of labor would equal two times the average product of labor. Two is the exponent in the L term. And in this case, the marginal product of capital will equal the average product of capital. The exponent on the K term is simply one. Okay, that's it.